Welcome to our Degrees of Latitude Healthcare Professional Training Program. The Latitude Next website offers you flexibility and control over how you receive, review, and manage Boston Scientific device and patient data. In this training module, you will learn how to manage alerts in Latitude Next. After viewing this video, you will better understand red and yellow alerts in Latitude Next, configuring alerts at the patient group level, configuring alerts for individual patients, accessing more detailed alert information, dismissing alerts, setting additional alert notifications. We'll start by covering the basics of red and yellow alerts in Latitude Next. Alert monitoring provides additional device and patient health status monitoring between scheduled follow-ups, which is designed to help you see changes sooner. In addition, Latitude Next conveniently allows you to configure your alerts without bringing your patients into the clinic. Alert notifications are generated for a number of conditions which vary depending on the implanted device model. There are two levels of alert conditions, red alerts and yellow alerts. Transvenous patients are monitored daily for red alerts. Latitude Next features daily yellow alert monitoring for transvenous patients with the 6290, 6280, or 6498 communicator. Patients with a 6476 communicator have the option to be checked for yellow alerts on a weekly basis. Patients implanted with an SICD are monitored for both red and yellow alerts on a weekly basis via their 6290 communicator. These patients are prompted to complete these checks by a white flashing heart. To complete the alert check, patients simply press and release the flashing heart button and remain near the communicator until it is complete. Red alerts are generated based on implanted device conditions that could potentially leave your patient without available device therapy. Red alerts are always on and cannot be configured with the exception of the Latitude Lead Check Plus alerts. These two alerts, designed to monitor leads under advisory, are nominally off and can be selected for an individual patient by editing the patient's alert configuration. Red alerts are only available to the clinic associated with the patient's primary patient group. Yellow alerts can be configured on or off individually or at the patient group level based on your clinic's preference, and in some cases, the limits or values are customizable. It's important to ensure that each patient's alert configuration is appropriate when the patient is enrolled, as well as when or if a patient receives a new implanted device. Alert notifications are not intended to be used as the sole basis for making decisions about patient medical care. Rather, alerts can serve as prompts to review additional supporting diagnostic information to investigate the alert condition. Now we'll show you how to configure alerts for patient groups. Simply hover over Manage Clinic and click Manage Clinic Settings. Click Edit View Schedule and Alert Defaults next to the patient group whose alert configuration you want to change. Make sure the checkbox is selected for each of the alerts you want to be notified of for patients in this group. This is also the screen where you can select the limit for those applicable yellow alerts. Once you're satisfied with your alert selections and configurations, scroll down and click Save and Close. Next, we'll demonstrate configuring alerts for individual patients. Locate the patient whose alerts you want to individually configure. Next, click on Edit View Schedule and Alert Configuration. On this page, scroll to Alert Configuration and deselect the Use Patient Group Defaults checkbox. This is important because when this box is checked, you are prevented from individually configuring the patient's alerts. Now that you've completed that step, Review the alerts and ensure the checkboxes are selected for each alert you want to be notified of and select the limit of the applicable yellow alerts. Once you've completed your alert selections and configurations for this specific patient, scroll down and click 
save, and close. Now we'll show you three of the ways you can quickly access your patient's recent alert information. The first way is from the View Patient List page. Locate the patient whose alerts you want more information about. Click on the flag in that patient's row. A pop-up window appears that provides some basic information about that patient's recent alert conditions. The second way is by clicking on the hyperlink in the Review Reasons column in that patient's row. A different pop-up window appears with more detailed information than what you saw with the alert pop-up window. The final way is from the individual patient's page. From the View Patient list, simply click on the name of the patient whose information you want to review. Within the My Alerts section, you'll see detected alert information. The type of information shown here is similar to the basic information you saw in the alert pop-up window. These are three convenient options for you to quickly access your patient's detected alert information from within Latitude Next. Next, we'll show you how to dismiss alerts. There are two ways to dismiss alerts. The first option is found on the View Patient list. Simply locate the patient and click on the Dismiss from Review List button. If you would like to dismiss multiple patients, simply click the box to the left of each patient's name and click on the Dismiss from Review List button. The second option is found on the Individual Patient page. This option is particularly helpful in those situations when you're reviewing one specific patient's data and information. From that Individual Patient's page, simply click on the Dismiss from Review List button. Note that while dismissing a patient does remove them from the For Review filter on the View Patient List page, that patient data is still accessible from the All Patients filter, and his or her alert information is still available to you on the Follow-up History tab. Finally, we'll cover your options for receiving additional alert notifications. While your primary alert notifications are available through the View Patient List, Within the Latitude Next website, we provide you with the option of receiving additional alert notifications through either SMS text message or email. To configure, hover over Manage Clinic and click on Manage Clinic Settings. From here, click on Edit View Schedule and Alert Defaults next to the appropriate patient group. First, Determine the alert severity types that you want to receive additional alert notifications for, red alerts, yellow alerts, or both. Next, indicate if you want to receive these additional alert notifications between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, or 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Finally, determine if you want to receive the information via SMS text, email, or both. Simply enter the information in the available fields, making sure you match the format shown in the examples on the page. We strongly encourage you to send a test message to each email address and phone number you're including for these additional alert notifications. Once you've sent your test message and are confident the information entered is accurate, click Save and Close. Please note that these additional notifications are optional and delivery is not guaranteed. Congratulations! You successfully completed the Degrees of Latitude module on managing alerts in Latitude Next. If you have questions about managing alerts after viewing this segment, please refer to the other tools available to you on our website or call our Latitude customer support team at 1-800-227-3422. Continue checking our YouTube channel at latitudenext.com forward slash YouTube for additional Degrees of Latitude training modules.